Erev Tov Harim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, and we have some very, very breaking and disturbing news uh, that was uh, just uh, revealed to me by Brother Kellen uh, Davison, and Brother Kellen uh, shared with me. Now, I say breaking news. This was actually news that did come out a few weeks back. I was brought to my attention on a satire website that we were a little bit skeptical about reporting about that Pope Francis was actually changing the Ten Commandments. And, uh, and, and yes, uh, he did do it. We do have that confirmation. We would not publicize this at first uh, because we were a little concerned with the website that this was produced on. Uh, but Brother Kellen has actually given me an article here uh, from the actual Vatican website. This is the Ten Commandments uh, that the Vatican's website, that's at www.vatican.va, uh, that they are sharing here, uh, showing here. And uh, uh, this, by the way, happens to be a very clear fulfillment of Daniel chapter 7, verse 25, which I'll share that with you here in just a minute as well. Uh, but it says here, they have, they have basically, to give, you, to give this to you in a nutshell, they have totally done away with the second commandment. They're taking the last commandment, the 10th commandment, and they're splitting that into two different commandments, saying you shall not covet your neighbor's wife as one of the commandments, and you shall not covet your neighbor's goods as a 10th commandment. That would be the ninth and 10th, where that is actually the 10th commandment according to the book of Exodus. Now, let's take a look at what they took out here. When we go to the first commandment, we read here in Exodus, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Okay? And, uh, and you shall have no other gods before me. Uh, is is the is the actually the first commandment and uh, according to Deuteronomy uh, five six, chapter five verse six to twenty one where the commandments are at it says I am the Lord your God who brought you out of e out of the land of Egypt uh, out of the house of bondage and uh, but it's the first commandment is thou shalt have no other gods before me all right now they stated in here in the new traditional catechal formula this is their new ten commandments. Their first commandment is, I am the Lord your God. You shall not have strange gods before me. So you could have other gods, but just not strange gods. It's kind of interesting the way they word that there. Now the second commandment, which is very prominent in every Ten Commandment little monument that people might have, is the simplicity of it that says, you shall not make for yourselves a graven image. That is the second commandment according to the book of Exodus. See, uh, now they have taken and they have on their, for their second commandment, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, totally doing away with the graven images. Why? Because the, the Catholic Church is absolutely full of graven images. It is the most idolatrous religion on planet Earth, is the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, we're going to Daniel, to Daniel's prophecy here. Uh, Daniel is, is not considered one of the prophets the way they have it laid out in here, but that's, that's all right. We know that he is. Daniel chapter uh, 7 and verse 25. Let me open that up for you guys where you guys can see this as well. You go down here to, let's read verse 24. And as for the ten horns out of, his, out of this kingdom, shall ten kings arise, and another shall arise after them, and he shall be diverse from the former, and he shall put down three kings. Then it says, and he shall speak words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and shall think to change the seasons and the law. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and half of time. Now, I just shared with you uh, how he is actually changing the Ten Commandments. But if you would like to see the seasons and times, he did this in the Ten Commandments as of well. As of, as of well. Actually, what should be considered the Fourth Commandment, which is the Sabbath, he changes this one completely too, where it says, according to Deuteronomy, observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy. 
uh, according to the book of Exodus, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor. And then God explains what the Sabbath is and how to keep it. But according to their commandment, which is now the third commandment, no longer the fourth commandment, they did away with the graven images, but they have on there, remember to keep the ho holy the Lord's day no longer the Sabbath day. Well, that way the Catholic Church can change times and the laws. So, I mean, you know, guys, I am amazed. You know, first he, he breaks headline news. Pope, the Pope of Rome breaks the headline news and, and, and drinks on the mountain of God right there. According to Obadiah's prophecy, he said that they will drink on my holy mountain masculine plural hebrew right there then he goes on and he it says they shall continue to drink all the goim the nations which that's the different groups that support the vatican and they have continually drank upon god's holy mountain mount zion by the way some of you that would not agree that mount zion is god's holy mountain it's written by the way in uh, Obadiah that is Mount Zion is a holy mountain according to Obadiah's prophecy as well as the Dead Sea Scrolls there were three things that were very important to the to, to the people that are the writers of the Dead Sea Scrolls and by the way Mount Zion place holy place was considered very important and Mount Zion was considered to be that sacred spot for those that wrote the the uh, the, the particular commandments there uh, so anyway very very interesting to say the least there Again, let's take and uh, look at that here again. Remember to keep the, the holy, the Lord's day. Uh, he does keep honor your father and mother the same. You shall not kill. He has the same, at least in English. You shall not commit adultery. He keeps the same. You shall not steal. He keeps the same. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Uh, again, but they're completely out of order from what Moses actually wrote there. Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> And we're already seeing now with the European Union, the, the, the United Nations, everything coming against Israel, uh, but alarming to see this prophecy being fulfilled as we speak. I'm Stephen Benoon. Shalom and good evening. God bless you.